I got a real treat for you today. I'm actually in my cousin's backyard. These were actually found by my cousin. I've never seen these snakes before, so this is a lifer for me even to see them. This is uh, obviously the urban environment, so some of you might be able to guess what this is, or you can tell by the title, but have a pair of Brahmini blind snakes, if I'm saying that right. These are one of the smallest snakes in the world. They can be anywhere from two and a half to seven inches in length. These guys are about, or I should say these girls, are about four inches in length or so. And the reason I know they're girls is these snakes don't need mates to reproduce. These are all parthenogenic, meaning they're all females. They don't need mates to reproduce. They lay about two to seven eggs, little tiny, tiny eggs. These are just really cool snakes. They're really squirmy. They look like a worm. Most people would see this and actually think that it's a worm, but they actually have eyes. They are, like the name, blind snake. They cannot see out of the eyes. They can detect light, but that's about it. Um, since they are so small, you can guess that the only things that they're going to be eating are uh, insect larvae, really small insect larvae, but mostly ants and termites and the ant and termite larvae. They, they have scales, it's another way to tell, um, and they've got a tongue. And it's so hard to tell because they're so small, but they've got like a little white pinkish tail, uh, tongue, and they're trying to smell and, and sense the environment. Just super cool. So my cousin actually found them. Right where he was, uh, where he was digging, I'll show you a clip of that. Um, and happened to find them right next to a bunch of ants, so they were probably feeding. But these are just such, such cool snakes. Um, they live underground most of the time, so a lot of people don't see them. Uh, they will be found under surface objects. You can't find them under rocks and uh, wood and other surface objects like that. But they're going to be spending the majority of their life underground. Now, what's cool about these guys is they're actually invasive. Uh, they're from, I believe, Asia. I want to say Southeast Asia. Hopefully I'm right on that. Uh, but they have traveled all over the world. They're in all, a whole bunch of different uh, countries and continents at, around the world. They uh, have made their way to the United States, obviously. California, Florida, uh, several other states. Um, they like the moisture, cool, uh, moisture environment, so they'll be found after rains. Um, but they have made their way in potted plants and that's kind of how they've traveled. They're so small that they can be inside of a potted plant and you would never know. Now these snakes do look a lot like the southwestern thread snake. I've taken some up close pictures of the face, the rostral scale, um, and their eyes. That's the best way to tell. Just by looking at them it's super super hard to tell. I, you wouldn't know unless you were an expert. Um, but it has to do with the eyes. Uh, in the southwestern thread snake, the eye is actually in the middle of the ocular scale versus the Brahimian blind snake, it's more on the top part of the scale as well as the, uh, the rostral scale. The southwestern thread snake's rostral scale is a V-shape, it's facing upward. The rostral scale of the Brahmini blind snake is actually like a U-shape and it's facing downward. So that's the way to tell, but unless you have a macro camera and, and can take a really up close picture, you'll you won't know. It'll be very, very difficult to tell. So these guys were actually found earlier right in this trench. Um, and there happened to be a bunch of ants. I don't know if you can see the, the ants or not. There's a bunch of ants that run in this trench and that's where they were found. My cousin was actually um, digging behind there to place the uh, irrigation line and happened to to stumble on him and he knew right away that it was a snake. So very, very cool. Way cool.